Welcome back to the number one gaming podcast on YouTube. What's up, gamers? Uh, what's up, gamers? It's <laughs> it's your boy Shafiq. It is uh, Caesar on the mic. Say hi, Caesar. MC CZC. Um, and today we have a special guest with us. Our uh, our what were you? What did you teach when you? Physical science. Physical, physical science, science teacher. teacher. Tenth grade. Was it ninth grade? Ninth grade. Ninth grade, ninth grade physical ninth grade. science teacher Valerie Knauer. How is it? Hello. How is it? What? Teaching? <laughs> well, how, how's Te- it going? Teaching is interesting these interesting. days. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like okay. technology-wise, you know, you always have to bring new things to make it new and interesting yeah. for everyone. So what are you teaching right now? I'm teaching forensics. I created a brand new space class. I teach electricity and magnetism um, and the physical science still. Physical science. Yes. Okay. So uh, don't tell anyone. But this was our favorite teacher in high school. <laughs> and I've got to say, their class did stick with me. Because it was a legendary <laughs> class. It was I a good class. We went through some stuff together, and you oh, had yeah. my back. So We did, yeah. No, we some loved you. Absolutely. Because that was, that was the year uh, Dr. Mm-hmm. Jones pulled me out into the hallway. I remember that. That yeah. was... We we went to his office. And we were like, Valkenauer is the coolest. Mm-hmm. And we were like, don't don't do nothing to her. And that was that was pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember the time um, the one student Bert <laughs> he hid in that corner for like half the class. Bert did many things. Yeah, yeah, he did. He also got naked in this classroom. Not naked. He got Wait, did naked. He? he took his pants off. Why he he took his he, pants he off. He was changing for strength. Oh well, look, okay, is... and and he he thought I couldn't see him because. I was doing a presentation. Um, <laughs> you're still in the room. <laughs> but he also came in, remember, with the giant cookie. And the, and the, <laughs> the like, big milk. thing of milk, yeah, just oh started eating in the middle of class. That was funny, so. Anyway, on the topic of sciences, I had a question. Um, that whole black hole thing happened recently. Yeah. I I get why that's a big deal, mm-hmm. but I was hoping you could explain a little bit more to me why that's a huge deal, because, like, honestly, like, to me, it's just a picture. I mean, so, they th- we never thought we would be able to see direct evidence of it, because basically... Was a black hole, like, a myth up until this point or something? Well, no, or I mean, yeah, no, no. Math- mathematically, we sus- suspected they exist, and mm. the way that galaxies evolve... It makes sense that they exist, but I mean, you know, we can look out and we can find planets. We can see other planets. Yeah. But the definition of a black hole is that the gravitational force is so extreme that not even light can escape because nothing can go faster than light. And in order to get out of the black hole, something would have to be moving faster than light. So without light, how can you see something? Okay, so it's, it's so the the black hole was just something that we would never thought we'd see ever because it, it, to that point of yeah seemed plus, impossible to see. Plus, there were some technological issues that they had to overcome. Okay, so the black hole that they took the the picture of it's really um, a shadow okay. that that you're seeing, and the light around it is basically like a photon that was going around. What's a photon? A photon is a particle of light. Okay. Uh, they were looking specifically at radio waves because radio waves would be able to get through all of the, the mess and get here in okay. a nice, somewhat timely manner. But um, in order for us to resolve the image of that black hole, basically there's something with optics that says that the resolution of your image is kind of like based on how big your telescope is. So in order to see the black hole that we saw, we would need a telescope the size of the Earth. But that doesn't exist. But if you have lots of radio telescopes spaced around the Earth, you can take lots of images. And what they did was they pieced those pictures together. So it was like a bunch of pictures. Like a panorama almost. Kind of. And there was lots of like predictive imaging. I don't exactly understand the like computer science behind it, Uh but... It was basically like based on they had to teach it how to fill in the blanks basically okay and try and come up with the image and it was kind of a big deal so yeah that's that's huge yeah because basically (laughs) the combined power of all of the 
radio telescopes that they used mm. created a virtual telescope the size of the Earth. Oh, that's cool. So not only do we have that, but we also have a picture of a black hole from it as well. Yeah, well, shadow. Yeah, it's, something. it's not a direct yeah. picture, because obviously it's not something yeah. that's, supposed to be, that's, that's visible. Yeah. Okay. It's so blurry, though. <laughs> well, again, well, yeah, I mean, again, yeah. Different it comes down. It comes down to resolution and and size. I'm like, used to 4K. Yeah, that's yeah, well, that's <laughs> why that's why it looks blurry. I'm sure if this picture came up in the 70s, they would be like, it's "Oh my so god, clear! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that!" But you know, nowadays everything looks blurry unless it's high def, mm. super crisp. But I mean, it is really far away. To be honest. About how far away is this? Is this even in our galaxy, in our solar system? No, this was in, I think it was M87. They're currently, they're still, I believe, looking at the black hole in our galaxy. There's a black hole in our galaxy? In the center, yes. Oh, this, the one that they observed was nice to see because it is technically like an active galactic nuclei. So it has an accretion disk, basically like food. Mm -hmm. um, so it's eating. <laughs> okay. if, if you want to use that but analogy. Like just stars or debris, what, things like, like that. Like gas clouds, things like that. Okay. Anything that can get like close enough to huh. it. Um, it's not like sucking things. No, it, it, that's a huge... Um, Misconception? Yeah, kind of. Because they don't run around like Dysons, sucking everything up indiscriminately. Yeah. Okay. Um, you could have something in a stable orbit around a black hole. Okay. It's just, you know... If you got close enough to the sun, it would take a lot to get away from the sun. Do we know what causes black holes? The, the mass. So inside of a star, there are two main forces. There's like the, the compressive force. So gravity wants to pull all of these atoms together and get them to come to a central point. Um, that's where my Dragon Ball Z reference always comes in. As these gas clouds collapse and the hydrogen molecules start to heat up, they do a little fusion dance mm -hmm. and actually create nuclear fusion. And that's the second force. It creates an outward pressure that as long as the star's on the main sequence, that um, outward pressure is balancing the force of gravity. Okay. If a star has a lot of mass and it stops fusing and it runs out of fuel to fuse, it's going to collapse. And there are a couple of outs, like certain mass stars can become white dwarfs, certain mass stars can become neutron stars, but if they're too big, then they're just going to collapse and become a black hole. And become a black hole, yeah. What happens when you go in a black hole? Do we not know that? Probably just... You could... We have a lot of suspicions. It wouldn't be pleasant. Well, first of all, like, there's lots of radiation coming out okay. of these things, mm -hmm. so... You turn into the Hulk. No, I don't, I don't not, think you're turning into the Hulk, Caesar. Is it gamma radiation? It, I don't... Well, yeah. Yeah. The Hulk. Um, because yeah. basically yeah. photons are, you know, electromagnetic waves. Okay. And the faster these electromagnetic waves are going, the more energy they have. So really high energy photons are gamma rays. So if you've ever heard of, like, gamma ray bursts, that that's what's happening. Gamma rays are being given off, but no inter... Stellar hulks. <laughs> what can you tell me about uh, antimatter or black matter? Uh, that is not my oh. specialty. Okay, that's Damn fine. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it, mm -hmm. but there, there's a lot of evidence that suggests that it's there because basically there's we shouldn't be seeing some of the galactic structures th that we see because okay. the mass that's contained isn't exactly enough to explain what's happening. So there has to be something else that we can't see. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Okay. Because I know there's like dark matter and there's dark energy and a lot of people think they're related, but they're really not. How the hell did you get into all this science stuff? Yeah, what was like the thing that really like made you think like, this is what I want to do for a living. Um, so there are a couple of different things. When I was in eighth grade, I had a science teacher, and we were doing this whole like science in the community thing. And it actually recently popped up in the news again. I come from a town where um, uranium was processed 
Really? Really? Yeah. Uh, Marie Curie visited our town. Um, there was uh, the Standard Chemical Company, I guess, processed the uranium for, you know, nuclear weapons or whatever they were using it for. And um, a lot of the fill got out into our local environment, and we had a massive cancer cluster in the 70s. Wow. And they're Jeez. discovering that um, there's another cancer cluster with with people in our area um, affecting people roughly my age. Mm-hmm. Um, ah, I see. Yeah. Um, so I got really into, like, well, how could this happen? How did they not know this was going to happen? And I kind of was very concerned with the environment, and I was, you know, wondering... Did, did they go with Geiger counters? Did they check? Because mm-hmm. they did a massive cleanup in like the 70s or 80s. And they basically mm-hmm. buried all of this stuff underground and fenced it off. And no one can go on the property for, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. Um, which is weird because they're also doing a lot of like fracking and things like that in the area. And I'm just wondering like, so hmm. they Yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure I would want to mess with with stuff in that area, but that was one thing that really interested me in science. And another one was the movie Contact. Um, I, I became seen that one. Oh. yeah, yeah. That looks from it's the alien. It sounds it's an alien movie, right? No, it well uh, sounds like one <laughs> loosely. Ten out of ten would recommend. It's probably <laughs> yeah. one of the most influential pieces. Um, Jodie Foster was in it. She's really good. Um, who else is in it? I've definitely heard of it. Matthew McConaughey's in it. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh-huh. Yeah, so he's in it, and she plays an astronomer. Okay. And th- she received a message, mm-hmm. and the world decoded the message, and the message was how to build a machine, and basically she... Oh, she got I've to, heard of this. Yeah, she, okay. she, got to, definitely. she got to go. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> they parodied this on Rick and Morty. <laughs> Did they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You'll have to tell me what episode so I can check it out. Uh But the whole idea of her being out in space and she was looking around and, you know, she said, it's so beautiful, they should have sent a poet. Mm -hmm. And really, when I see all of these images from Hubble and everything, I see, like, pure beauty and and art. Mm -hmm. And I've always been attracted to, you know, why? Why is it there? What created that? And I've always kind of wanted to know and well it's huge yeah it's like so much bigger than us and anything that's on this planet Mm -hmm. it's like it's insane that we like more people don't think about it yeah and you know some of my students i started out the semester talking about like how how big the universe really is and kind of giving them a scope and it's infinite isn't it yeah (laughs) it is and some of the students were kind of like, oh, that's so depressing, like, that we're depressing. so small. And I'm like, but, I but mean, it's, that's fantastic. It, it, it should be it's, the opposite of depressing. Yeah, it's wonderful know? that there's so much out there. Because, you know, there's so much empty space, but we're here existing mm-hmm. in, in our tiny space. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I think it's kind of hopeful that there's so much stuff out there that we, you know, don't know about yet. Exactly. And, the fact that there's the, well, even the chance that we can expand outward mm-hmm. yeah like, we can go like, find other planets yeah. and now we they're, can, like, they're like planning on like colonizing Mars colonizing other planets mm-hmm. just as like even in the smaller scale way back colonizing other countries and stuff yeah. mm-hmm. it's like that's just the next step in, in, in our <laughs> expansion yeah uh-huh. that's wild mm-hmm. Elon what's going on man uh, he's one of my favorites. Yeah. You like Elon Musk? Oh my god, I love Elon Musk. He's a good guy. Mm-hmm. You ever seen him before he got his hair plants? No. He's I'm really sure he's <laughs> he looks he hair plants? Yeah, dude. Didn't I did not show you. I had no idea. Elon Musk was not a very good looking man uh, <laughs> a few I, years ago. I'm pretty wow. sure he graduated from Penn though. Yeah? Hmm. In like nineteen ninety four. I'm pretty sure he went to Penn. Makes sense. That's cool. I don't know how he got there from, like, South Africa. Isn't he South African? I have no idea. R- really? I don't know much about Elon Musk other than I, that I, he made a rap song about Harambe. He did that. <laughs> well, I mean, oh. he made flamethrowers. That aren't flamethrowers. What is that? Do you know anything about that? What? I've seen, he made that flame, the Elon Musk flamethrower. It's called not a flamethrower. Yeah. Because it's something different. No, I think he just, someone said, like, you can't call it a flamethrower. 
<laughs> well, actually, actually, yeah, it you throws, can't make flip, actual no, obviously it throws too. a flames, but like it's like different. It's like it's got this other like tank of gas hooked up onto it's it. It's like a, a different ignition system yeah. or something. It's like a whole thing, and like you can buy. It's like expensive as hell, but you can buy mm. it. And I saw this dude on YouTube, like, and apparently the flames are like weird. Like this dude, like, was like throwing throwing flames on his curtains, and nothing was igniting. That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. But I've also seen other people use it to burn shit, so huh. I don't know what. Maybe it has different settings. I don't know what the, if it, fire has different settings. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm listening. If it can, if it can, you know, have things light on fire and then like shit, and it's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's gotta be different. Light fire, yeah, yeah. Gen- I, I gentle want, fire. I just want a little. I just want it. Just just a little, little toasty. The blue kind doesn't yeah. burn. Yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little bit of fire. So uh, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I actually, you know. Um, when I made Couch Nebula, I approached you talking about, like, what is a nebula, actually? What actually are Oh, yeah, are what these is a things? nebula? We have, we've been calling ourselves Couch Nebula for how long? I have <laughs> I, no I don't, clue I still know what it is. What but... a nebula is. I mean, it's it's a cloud of gas and, and dust. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're a couch cloud. Of, that's, that sounds like a fart. It doesn't... Not exactly. <laughs> it, it could be, I mean, I mean yeah. it's, not, it's not the best <laughs> name. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Like... Be, I guess if you don't really know what it is, it doesn't yeah. sound. I mean, it sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's the only reason we it's like it. Just this. like mm. farting into a couch. It's a cloud of gas in a mm. couch. Just that a cosmic. Just sounds like a fart. But cosmic fart. we're a cosmic fart on yes. a couch, though. I mean, but it is the birthplace of stars. Oh. So. <laughs> yes. I, I knew this. I knew we're, this. Gonna, we're gonna be big, man. <laughs> yeah, man. This is Fate. this is where it's all starting. You were meant to be Couch Nebula. <laughs> Absolutely. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. We're gonna look back on this when we're like forty and we're like famous singers. Mm-hmm. F- famous, famous. We're gonna singers. be famous singers and yeah. we're gonna be like, well, that one kept podcast with mm-hmm. Balkan Hour. We have that podcast with Balkan Hour, and she set us straight. Yes. Let me tell you. <laughs> I laid down the science. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're doing a lot of forensic stuff now. Like, do you have anything that's like? really interesting in that field for you or anything that kind of like piques your interest also who's your favorite serial killer if you have, i mean not um, everyone's gonna have one everyone has a famous serial killer i mean i kind of like eileen warnos because she's so unique oh okay. Ooh, tell me about her i don't know anything about yeah her. um the movie monster played by charlize theron um my ex said that her character kind of looked like my mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, because she does she does look awful and he was just being a terrible oh, he human was being. being. Oh, geez. Um, okay. But basically like she was a prostitute okay. and she ended up murdering her Johns. Okay. Um her Johns. So, yes. Like the people she would, you know, yeah. check That's off what you with. call them? Like, I, That's yeah, a term I, for them? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Her clientele. Her clients. Yeah, her, uh, her, her buyers. Yeah. Her buyers. Hey, we try and keep it classy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, she's a female serial killer. Okay. So. I don't hear too many. Of no, those you don't. Exactly. So you do not. That's cool. My favorite is Dahmer. Like My Dahmer. mom's favorite is Dahmer. She cried when he died in prison. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. Did you see? There's a really good movie called My Friend Dahmer. It, I'll have to look it up. It's it's about um, Dahmer in high school. I guess like they interviewed like some of his friends like throughout high school, and they made like a whole movie about like. I'm shocked like, that he had friends. Yeah, well, really, they weren't friends. Yeah. They were just kids who liked to make fun of him, and they mm-hmm. would just like acted like his friends so yeah. that they could make fun of him like, more. This is why he ate people, guys. Yeah, yeah, no, pretty much. <laughs> you know, you know the joke that they used to say in that town. What? Town? What is? What the Dom that Dahmer lived in? Yeah. Okay. What is it? What's his favorite dessert? Oh, I know where you're going with this, Shafiq. It's uh, it's lady fingers. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait. Oh, that why? one wasn't the one I was gonna go. Wait, with. wait, wait. Oh, oh, you go oh, ahead oh, and say. Oh. Okay, that was the one I heard at least. Oh. It was on a documentary about him. It's it's a British dessert. It's called Spotted Dick. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I know what you're. T- <laughs> I think it's better because he was gay. I, yeah, I, thought <laughs> was gay. I, thought, I thought that was where it was. Damn. Going. No, I wasn't going to go that far. <laughs> That's Makes even sense. better. Oh, God. Wait, what is ladyfingers? Ladyfingers, it's a type of. Uh, it's like the. It's like a, a pastry that's and then you the hollow. Right? Yeah, and then like there's a like a cannoli? Not a cannoli per se, but it's like a. It's a, sh- a doughy shell, more or less, like right? A, a cannoli? Of, maybe like a German cannoli? Yeah. Because I know. Oh, German they're spongy. Like them. They're not really hard. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not like it's like a spongy cannoli. Yeah, you, you okay. can say that. Are cannolis crisp? Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. crispy. Yeah. They're really hard. Yeah, then, they're like it's know, a hard shell. 
Oh yeah, then then you got the chocolate chips. Then on, lady on fingers top. are a little bit softer. <laughs> mm, absolutely. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. One. No, hers is better. No, it's way better. <laughs> much better. <laughs> I heard he says that um, tattoos don't taste good. He says it ruined the meat. Oh yeah, that is just. Oh, you know he what? Said speaking to, of which, he said, he said to avoid vampires, you eat garlic. To avoid uh, um, cannibals, you get tattoos. <laughs> then I'll just have to keep continuing yeah. the <laughs> collection. Like a, yeah, I heard that there was like a disease. Um, if like it, it was like some tribe in Africa, they would just start eating a bunch of people for like a ritualistic type of deal. And uh, I forgot the name of the disease, but they would like they would uh, they would spaz out essentially because they would eat brains yeah there, brains it was like a neurological yeah. disease uh -huh. like because is, of eating human flesh yeah because they ate Brain. so many yeah. brains that it just it fucked because you're not supposed to eat them there's like some type of um Actually, enzyme i believe right? are there any animal brains that we eat animal brains yeah. we eat a uh, cow cow's brains some people do i, know I that's think in africa they eat monkey brains don't they yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Would that. you like some monkey brains? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't that a thing with like Ebola? It was. I mean, yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking of uh, Raiders of the. No, which which one was that? Temple of Doom. I've never seen any Indiana Jones movies. Are you serious? Oh, that's serious. Okay. Oh. I saw the one scene, and I think it's Raiders of the Lost Ark, where like that Indian dude like tries to fight him, and then he just shoots him quick. Oh, okay, the one with the big sword. Yeah, but I only know that because I saw a scene where it's like the only that was supposed to be a big fight scene, but the only reason they didn't have it was because uh, Harrison Ford had the shits that day and he didn't want to film a fight scene, so they just they were like, oh, well, you could just shoot him. <laughs> you could just shoot him. Yeah. So it's called Kuru. Mm -hmm. Kuru. Kuru. What brains? Monkey brains? No, 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 no the, the disease. disease. Oh, okay. From eating people. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Would you so, ever eat someone? Would I ever like if, it was a, if it was a dire situation. Yeah. Would, really? Yeah. If I had to survive, yeah, I'd eat somebody. What if it's someone you know though? Like, what, what, what if it was me? Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Not. I'm. I'm a lot to eat. You. You would have a lot to work with. Exactly. My, okay. I. I have to overpower you because there's no way I'm letting you eat. <laughs> you're me. gonna have to. <laughs> you're not getting. You're not getting far. You would on be a me. snack for me. Exactly. You're not getting far on me. Okay. Well. Yeah, oh. So. <laughs> I can survive longer. So okay. Okay. No. no think about this critically. Here. Okay. Yes. Yes. Say we're on an island. Okay. We need time. Because obviously the more time we have, the more chances we have of being found. You're not going to last long on me. Mm. So <laughs> I'm going to survive longer on you, so yeah. I should eat you so how that are you I gonna have kill, How are you going to kill me, though? Are you going to, like, oh, hey, can you stand over there? And, like, you know, there's, like, a big rock or something. You, like, push I'm gonna. Over. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Because it's for the greater... It, not the greater good, but... It's, who's really going to make it? Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can't live off of the land? The fat of the land? We need meat. I mean, you, you don't you don't need meat. Okay, say okay. What kind of island are we on? Give us a scenario. Okay, um, I'm thinking the Donner Party with mine. That's why. Isn't that like a mountain? Yeah, like a snowy mountain. Exactly. Yeah. That There's sounds awful. There. Exactly. exactly. So I have to there. eat you. Yes. Yeah, so you there, have to eat. Yeah. There was no other choice. It's not yeah, like because you otherwise could, it's we not could live like off you, the land. Yeah. It's not like it you could live off of died. coconuts yeah, up exactly. there. So. Mm. Okay, so that's the only scenario where we would have to eat each other. Yes, I suppose. I'd eat you. You'd eat me. And you would agree because I would. Have, okay, now I would agree on it. Like that's a definite. Because think of how long can you last on me? How long is my meat gonna last? Not not very long. Maybe I can like tell you that much. May, you can live maybe. Maybe if there were more people, I'd probably be like, well, Caesar will be the snack. You know what I mean? But um, why don't you eat me last? Because I'm the least. <laughs> I was actually asked this question once. I was in gonna class. ask you this question. Yes. A kid did ask me. Was it? It was probably after you guys. Out of everyone in the class, if we were like in a plane wreck, and you had to eat one of us, who would you kill first? Mm. And I was like, I'm not answering that question, but you yeah. all know who it is. <laughs> Damn. Was it, obvious? it was obvious. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Out of our class, who would you have eaten? Mm. Let's see. It was me. Well, I'm not gonna list names, but <laughs> uh, I'm even trying to think of that class. It was, you know, it's Bert. You, her, me, Melanie, Nadia, mm -hmm. Kenny, me, um, uh, Lexi. Vic Victor? Lexi was in Victor, wasn't? Victor wasn't in it. No, it was like um, Flacco. Mm -hmm. Flacco. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so. Reasons. Yeah, mm -hmm. gotcha. Reasons, reasons. Understood. Okay, okay. That's funny. <laughs> Who's your favorite serial killer? Do you have one? I don't really have one to really? be honest. You don't, I, like you're not into that. I mean, like. I think it's cool, like, thinking about, like, why they do it or, like, what makes them crazy or, you know, just the fact that, and I've talked about this before, I don't know if I talked about it with you, but um, 
They believe they're doing things that are okay. Uh, to a normal person, like, okay, if I were to do something, if I were, if I were to push you, right, you know, I push you, uh, I'm still like, oh, that's okay. I'm okay in doing this. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with them. They, they, they could, they could chop someone up and they'd be like, I'm okay. I'm doing something for the greater good. They believe that they are the okay people. And that's the most scary thing. And they don't, and plus they, they really don't, they don't care. Yeah, they don't emote either way. They're like, well, no. whatever, this is for me. This yeah. is for my greater Yeah, they don't care. Good. They have no, like, matter. empathy or, like... That, that alone just scares the hell out of me. Because I wouldn't want to be in a dark alley with someone that I know would, like, chop me up or whatever. And they wouldn't bat an eye. Because, oh, well, that, this is for the greater good. I'm doing this to help this person. That's scary. That's mm -hmm. very fucking scary to me. Um... <laughs> Ted Bun that new Ted Bundy movie is supposed to come out on Netflix like in the next week or two. Mm -hmm. The one with oh, Zac Efron. I'm definitely watching that. I'm excited. That got people so heated. Why? What? Why? Because Why people, because he's being portrayed as like this charming man. Isn't that what he played by Zac Efron? That's well, exactly it, what he was. It's not. It's not that like people are getting heated over the fact that he was played by Zac Efron. It's more that people are getting heated over the fact that there are these girls that are like, oh my god, like he's so hot, and they're like over sexualizing. Ted Bundy. Ah, right, Ted right. Bundy. And it's not like that wasn't a thing before. But he was a handsome yeah. guy. He was. That's just what he was. And that's what made him dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was approachable. He, he had was, the charm. Yeah, he was charming. That, but, that's but an important people, part of him. People are like, well, but you know that this is what he is, but you still think he's attractive. And it's like, yeah. I can see it both ways. Like, yeah, it's kind of questionable mm. that you would be okay with that. Uh -huh. But... I mean, if you didn't know. I, well, it's getting released on Netflix now because I, I guess because of the backlash. But I think it would have been a really, I think it's going to be a really good movie, and I would have loved a, a theatrical release. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of angry. Well, at least I get to just watch it at home. But I mean, I remember when I saw it initially, I was like Zac Efron, really? Like I, he's I a fantastic he was, I he, actor. I think he's great. I think he's great, but I think he's too hot to play uh, Ted Bundy. Like Ted, Ted, Ted Bundy was a good looking guy. He was a good looking guy, but he wasn't a. That's, oh. He's not hot. That's what I'm saying. You got. <laughs> You know what? I remember there was a, a thing about Spider-Man, right? And it was talking about the different Spider-Mans. It was Tobey Maguire, it was uh, Andrew Garfield, and then it was Tom Holland. And uh, it was the guy from Comic Book Man, uh, Kevin Smith. He was talking about it. And he was like, you know, I liked him as Spider-Man, but he's too handsome to be Peter Parker. Who, that guy's Tom not. Holland? No, no, uh, Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Garfield. He's too handsome He was. He was too, he was too handsome. He, yeah. he, he, he wasn't, like, he wasn't believable, difference. and the way they played him. Like, he, he was wasn't, a good Spider-Man. He wasn't a geek. Like he was, he was just like just, this skater this dude. Like, that, oh, like, I'm gonna yeah. take pictures in the hallway. He oh. wasn't like a loser. How like, avant-garde. And like he's not even really like even when Flash shows up, he's not even really being bullied in that movie. Like all of the bullying scenes <laughs> with Flash Thompson are on other kids, and Peter just happens to get in the middle. Like maybe he calls him a few names, but mm -hmm. like 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 take for example like in the Tobey Maguire movies. Mm -hmm. Like Flash is an ass. Like they oh, yeah, yeah. fight. Like like Flash really picks on him. My father will fight your father. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Toby Maguire is my spider. Toby Maguire cool. definitely. <laughs> Tom, Holland, wow. Tom Holland's my guy. He creeps me out. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah. Oh, I don't no know. Way. Like, did you see the um, what is it? The lip sync battle. Oh. Oh well, that's that, oh, that's something you. different. I just, like, <laughs> he's a dancer. <laughs> yeah. He's a, I don't know. He's a good boy. Weird. He's into gymnastics. Yeah, definitely. he was a gymnast. Yeah. That's why he's a good Spider Man. Mm. Yeah, true. He's a, he's a quirky boy. He's a fellow. He's too like eager. He's but eccentric. Yeah, he's yeah, 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 absolutely. Definitely, probably a theater kid. <laughs> oh probably. my god! Oh god! Yeah. yeah. Which is weird because for the same reasons that I don't like Spider Man, I liked the the kid the kid that was the Flash. Mm. And oh, um, yeah. oh, Ezra Miller in Justice League. Yeah, you like people Miller? wanted him. I think for, he's great. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. writing his own Flash movie because I feel like he's the only one who can do it right. The Flash. God. Okay. Don't get me started on Justice League again. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but the Flash is a hard character because yeah. he's a lighthearted character. The Flash is a funny guy, but his storylines in the comics and his villains are very dark stories. Well, I think if you're gonna go that dark, you need something to contrast it. With. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Ezra Miller, I think he was a good Flash. He just wasn't written well mm -hmm. in the Justice League movie. Nobody was that. That movie wasn't written well. <laughs> yeah. You liked Aquaman. Yeah. Wait. But I'm biased. Because you like Jason Momoa. Yeah. But He's I think that movie guy. was actually good. I think that movie was actually half 
decent. Mm. Yeah. I didn't see it, but from, from what I heard and what I've seen, I think that movie was pretty I decent. I heard it was pretty okay. Even yeah. like the special effects. They said it was one of the one better the DCU movies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely better was. than Justice League. I mean, I definitely liked Wonder Woman way more than I liked Wonder Justice Woman was League. fantastic. Mm. I thought it was great. And I liked Aquaman every bit as much as I liked Wonder Woman. Mm. Mm. That's good. I gotta check it out. Um, but yeah, no, Ezra Miller, I think he could do a good... I think he can write a good Flash movie. Hopefully, they, they continue with him if they if they use his script. And he's he has he's a character. He is. He's funny. He's cool. Mm. He's great. And I love him as an actor. He's mm. a great. I've seen him base. in other stuff. He's great. Mm. Um, yeah, fantastic. What the hell did we get on this? What were we talking about just before this? <laughs> we're talking about uh, serial killers. And yeah, and then about I brought up Andrew. Why Garfield? do we always gravitate to the DC? <laughs> uh, I just have. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a personal question for me. You've seen the? Have you seen? Have you? Are you up to date with Jurassic Park? <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm just gonna just gonna put that. I saw Jurassic Park. Okay, the first one. Only you didn't see either one. of the new like <laughs> really? Movies. Okay, well you know what? Just stay that way. Just yeah. stay that way. It's fine. It's okay. fine. Don't don't That's watch any of the other ones. Yeah. No, you, yeah. you can watch Jurassic World. It was alright. Okay, Jurassic World was it. Just don't just don't, right, do, right. don't do this. I, I <laughs> That's a bad feel, idea. I feel the original was. A classic. Okay, it is a classic. Yeah, you can't touch that. If they ever remade that series, you can't do that. No, I, I found it really interesting. Mm-hmm. Would you ever want dinosaurs or... back? Why the hell? You're the only human who wants <laughs> dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's not true. There, there are plenty of people that want dinosaurs back. I don't know why. Not want the back. big ones. Yeah, not the big ones. But the, the, little, want... the little ones. Yeah, we're not talking like, I'd, I don't know, the big crocodiles. Like, that... I'd be down with some of the little ones running around. Mm hmm. No cops at Nathus's. None of that. I'd be down with even some of the bigger ones if they were just like, if if it was only the the um, what do you call them? You're gonna have to the get herbivores? the herbivores. The herbivores. I mean, yeah, they're herbivores. Yes, not the. Well, predators. they can still be deadly. I mean, they get Kylosaurus. Okay, not the ones that can like step on a house, but like maybe like a. <laughs> they're not big enough to step on a house. They're just like some of them look like tanks, and they can perform like tanks. They got these big balls on their tails, and they can just thrash anything. Stegosaurus. Psychosaurus is not one of my favorites. You, you What's like your favorite dinosaurs? dinosaur? Raptors. Velociraptor, straight yes. up. That's you. I love Velociraptors. Yeah, that's like, my favorite. Like, they're, they're so. That's why I like my dog Nova. She's part Jack Russell. Uh huh. Okay. And she, I just get like raptor vibes. Why'd you name her Nova? Supernova. Uh huh. For some reason, I thought you named them after the Marvel hero Nova. <laughs> no. No, and it's weird because when I tell people my dogs are Duke and Nova, they think it's after some college. Oh, Villanova and Duke. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got and I'm you. like, no. Duke and Nova. Yeah, I can see that. My cousin goes to Villanova. She's graduating mm-hmm. this week. He was just Nova was just really hyper. So. If anyone wants Supernova. to come out to my cousin's graduation, it's at Villanova. Oh, link in the bio. Yeah, link in the bio to my cousin's graduation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got free, free food, free catering. Yep. I'll be there. <laughs> It'll be a, a Q&A. <laughs> Big couch and a Q&A at yeah, my cousin's graduation. <laughs> just have a table set up in yeah. the back. <laughs> just say, hey guys, ah, got a lot of fans. Um, okay, okay. You so you definitely topics? use... Uh, Did you bring any topics? Not particularly, but um, as far as any theories, is there anything that you would shoot down immediately as far as like crazy space theories, anything like that? Are we a a, a, a a speck of dust on a flower? The Horton hears a who theory. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely believe there's other stuff out there. Okay. But, like, are you talking like a like the original Men in Black? Like okay, the, we're talking like uh, the multiverse theory. Normal I, stuff like that. I, I think the multiverse is... Possible? Possible, yeah. Okay. I don't see anything that says like no mm-hmm. i mean there's no way to test it mm-hmm. exactly there's, so it's not it's not far. exactly scientific because mm-hmm. we can't test it but have you seen that uh, family guy episode where they travel through like multiple universes Mm-mm. that's a good one you should try that one that's a really good episode no, that's a good episode i like that it's funny it was change up the animation yeah um yeah just things like that i guess that have always intrigued me um i mean i definitely think there's life out there mm-hmm why haven't we found it? I don't know. <laughs> are you, so you're an, would you classify yourself as an alien person? Like, do you think, or you just you just kind of believe there's something out there, and that's 
I th- I think that there's life out there. Like, mm-hmm. Is it intelligent life? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, is there intelligent life on Earth? That's debatable, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And maybe that has a lot to do with why we haven't met any aliens. Maybe they were like, <laughs> wow. These guys are dumb. They're dicks. They've seen, mm. they seen YouTube. Yeah, yeah, they've seen YouTube, they've seen the, the hoverboards, they've seen and the couch, everyone vaping. They've seen the Couch Nebula cast. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, 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 no. We're not touching this planet. I mean, they were probably, like, they're angry savages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you imagine if they just we're saw, pr- like, yeah, Chicago? Yeah, they primitive. I mean, Pr- some of the oh first... Oh, my goodness. I mean, if you think about it, mm-hmm. and this is one of the things that was in contact, you know, some of the first radio signals that we sent out... Mm-hmm were like Olympic transition transmissions with Hitler. Ooh. <laughs> so we're not really sending the, the, the right, right messages right away. They're not they're not getting like a good first impression uh. when when that's you know one of the first transmissions that makes what if its they show up space? and they're like we're here to meet this Adolf guy that we've <laughs> yeah, heard so much about. <laughs> where's where's he? He at? seems really fun. <laughs> Yikes. Well They'd know that he was long dead. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. obviously. Hopefully, hopefully. What I? Why do we only? Well, I don't know. I feel like when we when we're looking for planets and we're looking whatever, like one of the biggest things is like the planets have water and mm-hmm. can it sustain life? Mm-hmm. But why? Why I don't understand why we don't think like why other life forms don't need what we need. Like why aren't like what if they survive on like totally different elements? That I mean, I wouldn't discount it. Uh-huh. Um, I. Th- I know that like they've looked in space and they found organic molecules in space, okay. like carbon-based organic molecules. Mm-hmm. Um, so, if that's existing out there, then it's probably pretty likely that if there were life, maybe it would be carbon-based. Mm-hmm. But that's and, a thing. and it's a really like plentiful. Yeah, but element. like it, I don't think it's we should limit ourselves to like. I remember someone only was studying something. Based along those lines you know could you create a non-carbon based life form i mean i don't know enough about biology to say like no way Mm -hmm. it's not possible we'd have to talk to cushman (laughs) he just had a bunch of baby praying mantises the other day what i don't know if i like that or not that's cool i like (laughs) it was it was amazing oh gosh he birthed them himself he hatched them yes in the classroom it was an accident. An accident. He had. He was what? doing. He was doing a. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! It was an accident. So yeah. a miracle of life happened yeah. here, right here. So he went out and he got a bunch of samples to bring in to use with his seventh graders. Mm-hmm. And on this like stick, there was like this egg sac, and he didn't really know. Like I don't think he knew like what it was, and he didn't think that there would be like babies mm-hmm. in in the egg sac. And during the lab. It just started like like all of these baby praying mantises oh my God, started like that's so coming cool. out. That's terrifying. No, that's amazing. Can you, no, but can you they're imagine? Like, they were okay, like this big. okay. If I'm thinking like you know. So kids got to watch like praying mantises hatch right in front of them. Uh huh. That's incredible. That's awesome. And they were just like doing their little thing. Like Aww. they were like all like tiny like. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. I wanted one so bad. You should have a pet praying mantis. I wanted one. I wonder if he still has some. You should ask mm-hmm. him. Like, you should get like a little biome and make it. I really wanted a pet praying mantis be because cool. they're just so badass. I wanted a pet they're millipede. Cool. Ooh, they're gross. Uh, I love you those. don't. If you if you listen to the last podcast, there's a reason why you don't want him to have a millipede. What? What happened? To the oh last wait, no. Podcast? What are the roly poly things then? Ah. Uh, pill Is that bugs? the same? So that's the same thing. No. Okay. No, yeah. No, okay. No, okay. No, 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 no pill no. bugs are different. Okay. Okay. Never mind. He's okay then. Does this make me a serial killer? Oh boy. If you have this to ask whole... that question, I'm pretty sure that's like... <laughs> so one of the characteristics of serial killers is like they like to like kill things like when they're younger. Like animals, small animals, cats, this and that. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I kill cats. But... Other small animals, sure, but not... Cat, yeah, just, cats cats, no, cats, are, cats are too cute. I've never killed anything like that. <laughs> but sometimes those little pill pod guys, they're fun to play with, right? Yeah, every kid does that. They get a little... Yeah. No, but I like... Pulling them apart. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, to be on a like, 
I guess people do that for scientific reasons. So well, no, it's because like... it's not because I like like killing them. No, no, you just, but it when just looks just, cool. When you pull it apart, you can see their spine, Ooh. and I like seeing that. Because I mean, it's I cool. remember when I was a kid, we used to like pull the flashers off of lightning bugs and like stick them to our fingers and like have like little like glowing rings. So I guess that's kind of the same thing. I'm gonna but, do that. But... Now. No, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> you got them going. But <laughs> so I don't think it's as weird as mm. you think it is because. When when we were kids, that's just what we did. I remember one time I uh, had a lantern fly in a jar, and uh, I was a really I was a small kid. And then I came back the next day, and that shit was dead. And I was like, oh no! I used to go around my yard with a stick and a cup, and you know those little caterpillars. Mm-hmm. I used to collect those. I had just... a pet slug when I was a kid. Ooh. What was his name? Slinkman. No, what was <laughs> Slink? <laughs> Scott Master Slinkman. <laughs> He had a weird name. Silas. Silas. His name Silas. was Silas. Yeah. Silas. That's a nice name. Yeah, That's Silas the a... slug. And Ooh. I found out years later that he didn't run away. Or that Ooh. he didn't die. My mom told me that he died. Okay. Because I was feeding him Parmesan cheese. Because that's obviously what you feed slugs. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> she let him go. Why? I don't. Because she thought it was stupid that I had a slug. Uh, <laughs> did you have like a little a little playpen for him or whatever? Like a little I think I was box? just like keeping him. Like I had like a layer of dirt down and I just put like a mason jar over him. Okay. And then I would like lift it up and I would sprinkle the cheese. And just... What maybe like... No, would I gotta ask it? about the cheese. Did would... you... Is that an actual thing? Would he eat it? Yeah. I think so. Huh. What do they eat? What I don't slugs know what eat? slugs eat. That's the thing. They, like, they just grass, eat like debris, dirt, random plants? stuff. Dirt. Yeah, like it, I would assume. I would dirt, assume plants. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure that well, they don't eat dirt. They're just kind of confined in dirt, more or less. Maybe like as they're like trying to get like the microorganisms, maybe that are in the dirt, it passes through. Uh, I remember what I was gonna say. How do you feel about robots and automation? Do you think we're going too far, or do you think we're not going far enough? Do you I think, think the there's third... a limit. Okay. What is your limit? Is this is this good enough for you? Like, just have... that sounds weird. Like having normal computers, you know, just being able to do normal stuff. Or do you want like AI? Yeah. Do you want the full? I do not want AI. You don't I want, want a... I want a relatively <laughs> stupid robot that will clean my house for me. Okay. Um, but I don't feel that I would trust artificial intelligence. So something that's a little bit dumber than iRobot. That's scary. That see? movie's terrifying. That movie used to scare iRobot? the shit out of me. Yeah. Okay. That yeah, movie you, used to scare me when I was You can't go on effects yeah. without fucking watching that movie. Well, that movie comes on all the time. It, they got the movies. I mean, I've read <laughs> enough, like, I've read enough sci-fi that, mm-hmm. like, I do not trust artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. They're shady. Right, right. I mean... It's just code. <laughs> it, there's, it doesn't really have a... Um, I mean, we're just electrical impulses when we're thinking, but... <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. Exactly. <laughs> you just can't see our coding. I mean, yeah, you um, can't really break us down more or less. If if it does get to that, we have artificial intelligence that's smart enough to want rights. Do you think they deserve rights then? Oof! No, no, no. That's too far. Is like politics. You're giving the fact that you're giving them rights makes them more human. Than, well, exactly. Than they well, if they're be. smart enough to feel like that, well, they, you don't make them feel. <laughs> you don't make them feel. <laughs> they're robots. That's about. That's literally making them human. Giving them yeah, emotions, I... letting them emote. Besides, like, oh hey, have a good day, sir. You know, I don't freaking, know. If a robot starts, it, well, okay. Say you create a robot. Say you're a scientist that you actually create a robot, and it becomes very smart, but you're so proud of your creation, you don't want to terminate it, but it starts craving rights. It starts craving, like, a life. You mean Simon from iRobot? I I don't remember. That was was the main robot. I was too scared to watch it, so I didn't actually see it. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so... I just feel like... I don't know. It's going to become the Matrix or something. I, I... Robot. Uh, yeah, I, I. That's how much I don't trust artificial intelligence. So I just. I feel like no matter what, we're bound to get into a matrix-like situation. Yeah. But here's my theory, and I talked about this on another podcast. What if this planet's dying, right? But a robot AI would be able to survive. What well, if? I mean, I did read like a, a sci-fi recently where basically. 
everyone lived forever because they uploaded. Everyone's into like conscience. in Chappie. Did you see Chappie? Uh-uh. <laughs> That's a good one. No, but it was like everyone was uploaded, and there were like you could download part of yourself into like a, a flesh body, but they didn't. They would just be terminated. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and there, there was kind of like a, a debate toward the end of that because they made contacts with humans and it was a mess. It was a hot mess. And they ended up, um, after talking to the humans and seeing like, maybe killing our flesh bodies isn't the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. You know, are they valid creatures? Like, are they? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Are they people? Yeah. And, you know, the answers that humanity gave them was like, yeah, they, mm-hmm. they are. They, they're, they have experiences. They, they change as, you know, they're living their lives. So, yeah, they're people. Robots. I mean, it's everything else on the planet gets rights. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, it's true. They got rights for plants. Plants can't talk for themselves. No. So you got to give someone that can talk about it. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. Speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a thing you said. Remember that one? Remember that? I didn't really... I didn't fuck with the Lorax like that. What? You didn't like the Lorax? (laughs) I didn't hate it, but I was like, okay, this is another Dr. Seuss book. Here we go. But, I mean, coming from why I'm missing, like, you kind of... Yeah, we watched the Lorax, like, every year. We watched the Lorax in this class. Did we? Damn sure. Probably. Wasn't Taylor Swift one of the voices? Yeah. And Zac Efron. Didn't that come out after we were, like... No, I think we watched the original, like the cartoon one. Maybe the cartoon. Well, the, like the old. Like, yeah, that's what Dr. I'm thinking. Seuss I remember style. watching that, and I was like, okay, you know, whatever. I was really into the Grinch, so like seeing that was like, ah. Wasn't Danny DeVito the the, the Lorax in that? Yeah, one? <laughs> that's a good one. It's not a bad movie. Yeah, Taylor Swift was one of the characters. Yeah, Taylor Swift, Zac Efron, and Danny DeVito, mm-hmm. and Betty White. She was in that. Oh yeah, she was. When's she gonna kick the bucket? Never. I hope not. <laughs> I want Betty White to be immortal. Betty, we should upload Betty White into some AI. They, they mm. should. <laughs> How are we doing on time here? 49 minutes. You want to cut it? Uh, that's good. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a good one. We got enough here. Absolutely. Um, you have any final things you want to tell the audience, Mrs. Ganauer? You have any social media you want to plug? Anything you go, anything mm. you got going on? Not yet. I'm still, <laughs> yet. I'm still working up the nerve for the book tube. Gotcha. <gasps> a book? Ah! That's awesome. Book tube. She wants to talk about books. Yeah. Books on YouTube. Booktube. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I discovered that it was a thing. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, yeah. They got things for anything now. Yeah. You, 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 you start that up. You, you let us know. We'll, mm. we'll plug it. We'll, awesome. we'll promote you. Mm. We could do a collab. Absolutely. Yeah, if you want. I, we got to find a book that we've all read. Which with Has me. Has anyone seen that the might, Lost World Jurassic Park? That might only no. be the Lorax. Oh, only the Lorax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we can have like an in-depth discussion about a, like a book that's like 12 pages long or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've read a couple. Well, books. actually, <laughs> yeah, I've read a book or two. Mm-hmm. What about that book about? <laughs> this is gonna sound bad, but what? the the kid that's a detective, but he's actually. Oh, the the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. Mm-hmm. Oh, Have you I've read ne- that? No, I've never that's read that. That's a good one. one. It's mm-hmm. a, it's told from the perspective of a kid with autism. Mm-hmm. Huh. Um, it's really, really, really. I wonder really good. if that's on Scribd. Oh, I probably might be. It's really good. Really good one. I'll have to check that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. It's a really good one. Um, they made us read that at Exeter. Hmm. Well, hmm. Uh, that being said, I guess we're going to wrap wrap it up for today. Yes, um, uh, see ya. Oh, that, oh, we're just going to do it like that? See ya. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming on with us, Malcolm Hour, the lady, the legend. Thank you legend. so much for letting us be Absolutely. Love you. All right. <laughs> Later, guys. Have a good week. <laughs>